This is DJ coming at you live from High Impact Motorsports. Um, reason why I'm coming to you is just finished up the MR2, did the timing belt, water pump, coolant hose from hell. And uh, the reason why it's called that is because coolant hose basically is uh, part of the oil cooler assembly. And you got to remove the whole turbo manifold. So the cat's got to come out, the turbo. Uh, the exhaust manifold off the turbo does have to come out and within all of that the um, valve cover gasket was leaking pretty bad it's like there was barely any gasket left <laughs> this uh, engine was definitely covered in uh, oil now the cool thing about this is uh, after doing all of that and yes the motor stayed in the car doing all of this, which was probably the biggest pain because they don't give you too much room to really eye down the uh, timing belt. But let me tell you, it's, it's done. <laughs> and uh, the car sounds very awesome. Uh, at some point, he's probably gonna need a new cluster because this cooling gauge don't work. Check engine light doesn't flash. Um, it's actually like intermittent, but between all of that, we were able to bleed the coolant and it's kind of exactly because I'm the Fiero tech, I'm the Fiero guy. It's basically just like the Fiero, except that the MR2 doesn't use a, uh, radiator cap. The MR2 actually has a petcock that you just open up until all the bubbles are out, which is pretty cool. Man, the car sounds good. Um, when this car came in, the exhaust manifold and the turbo gaskets, all of them were blown. This thing sounded open header. Uh, we, it was towed in, so we never really got to drive the car. And now it's doing pretty good. Um, when I was doing the ignition timing on this car, I did notice that he basically has a bad distributor cap due to the fact that I got zapped pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, the five volt reference wire really got me. And uh, so that's definitely in the talk with the customer to let him know that, hey, cap and rotor time. Um, it looked like the spark plugs and the wires have been done recently. So there's that. Just regular maintenance stuff needs to be done on this car, you know. Uh, the timing belt was on this car since 1999 was the last recorded time, and I'm gonna say that was the last time a timing belt was done on this, due to the fact that it uh, it, it was very stiff, and yeah, it, it was just bad in general. <laughs> any any technician out there that's ever done a timing belt, they they know when one's bad. And that one was definitely, was, I wouldn't say it was holding on by a thread, but it was on its way out. The uh, water pump bearings were toast on this thing too. So I kept all those old parts for the fact that, that way I could show the customer. Because basically he brought it in hoping just to have this certain stuff done. The main concern, but more, you know, once you, once you get into someone's car, it's always always like hey there's this you might want to have attention to there's this and for him to give us the go ahead of doing it it very well worth it <laughs> this car is awesome uh hits boost no problem i'm trying to get it to hit boost but driving one-handed and shifting gears yeah maybe there we go Woo! about five pounds of boost felt pretty good so mr2 saved um, I'll let you guys go that way I can focus on my driving it did downpour about an hour ago and uh, yeah roads are wet <laughs> well so cheers